Hey guys, great morning to you. It is Tuesday morning. And for me to know what day of the week it is, it's huge, right? Because I never know what day of the week it is. But I wanted to come on here really quick um, as I'm here at the gym. I'm on my way into the gym. And I just shot a lot. I was doing a stories. <clears throat> and I, I realized that a lot of us don't know how to really set goals. Um, a lot of us are taught to do things in a big way. So I wanted to hop on here real quick to tell you guys a simple strategy that I've learned to use that has made a big difference in how um, productive I am. Because, you know, I'm all about mass execution. I'm about making it happen. Uh, whatever it is that you say you want to get, uh, you want to set out to accomplish, I'm all for it. But I believe that a lot of us have to learn how to set goals, right? So here's the thing. Most of us are taught, you you have visions, right? You have a vision, you have goals, and you have milestones, all right? So your vision is the big picture. What is it that I really want to accomplish? What's the end result, right? Then you have your, um, your uh, the goals within that vision. And the goals may be, you know, you want to lose, let's say the vision is you looking good, really, ultimately. The vision is you looking, you know, you wearing a size six or going to the uh, to the beach and being able to fit into that bathing suit. That's the vision that you have. But the goal is to like lose weight, change your eating habits, right? There's different things in that. But what we have to learn how to do, you have the milestones, but I like to call them micro goals. We have to learn how to set micro goals, right? So let's say you want to lose 30 pounds in the next um, 90 days, okay? Well, that's 10 pounds a month, which boils down to two and a half pounds a week. But you got to start asking yourself, what are the behaviors? What are the activities that's going to help me lose the two and a half pounds, right? So you break that down. So if I want to lose two and a half pounds a week or whatever, I know I want to go to the gym. I know I'm probably going to have to do some cardio. I know I'm going to lift some weights, right? You start breaking that down. Like, what are those key things that you need to do? You want to change your eating habits. But then you have to ask yourself, what is the daily activity of those things? What are the things that you got to do daily? You got to get to the gym every day, right? You have to meal prep your food and make sure that you watch every meal. Like whatever meal you're going to put in your mouth, you have to plan out your meals. You have to begin to establish and create like the micro pieces of this big goal. And you have to commit to the micro goals. So for me, I want to get in shape. I I was in shape, right? Um, you know, all of us got that story back in high school. I was a size six, but, um, but I got, had some health issues and I gained some weight and, uh, pandemic, let's not talk about it. We all can relate. And now I'm going back to the gym. I have big goals, but I was talking to some fitness trainers the other day and they was like, what's your goal? I was like, my goal right now is to get to the gym every day. That's it. I don't want to sit up here and obsess over losing 30 pounds. I don't want to freak out over, you know, uh, being a size six and I obsess about that thing because what happens is, is when a goal is so big sometimes or we have that big goal always leading the forefront, it can seem unobtainable. And it, you can actually self-sabotage in the midst of pursuing your goals because you start feeling like it's un unobtainable. If you put on them size 10 pants and they don't fit, I mean, I, you know, you want to get into your size 10 pants and they don't fit right now. You might get discouraged and be like, man, it's not going to work. I'm not going to do it. But if you say to yourself, I'm going to get to the gym every single day. I'm going to get to the gym every day. That's my goal. My micro goal is to get to the gym every day. I know in 90 days I want to lose 30 pounds. I know I want to fit into that bathing suit. I know I want to get back into those jeans. I know I want to do, you know, whatever. But what's the micro goal today? What's the goal today? Today, I want to make sure I eat three meals today that are actually going to be nutritional for my body, right? I want to make sure that I don't eat any junk food. Today, I want to make sure that I get to the gym and I actually sweat and I move. Today, I want to make sure that I lift some weights, right? You want to think about micro goals. Like when I think about business now, I stop obsessing because I'm a strategist. Like my, my brain as a consultant thinks about big picture. When somebody come to me and say, oh, I want to launch a business, you know what happens in my brain while people are talking to me? I'm thinking of every single piece of the aspect that they need to put in place to get that business going. That's just how my brain works. So if you come to me right now, you say, Nicole, I want to I want to launch a food truck. I In my brain, I'm already thinking about the licensing that you need to get, the health certifications that you need to get, 
where you're going to get your food truck from, who's going to be your supplier for your food, what, you know, what kind of, what's your niche going to be, how do you want to market it, where you're going to have your commercial kitchen. Like my brain, people talk to me about, oh, I want to build a website. I want to launch a business. My brain starts going, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know if you like a, like a CVS coupon <laughs> kind of sort of, or all these little pieces, you know, y'all say, but it's like my brain just did, 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 all the details of what it takes to launch. That's how my brain works. Right. And I've had to learn to, to break those things down and pull it back to what's right now. Okay. That's like the 90 day plan, but what does this person need to get done just this week? What's the one thing that I can do today? That's going to be scratched off this list of a thousand things that need to get done. Because most of us think about the thousand things. And then we'd be like, oh my God, I should go here. I should go there. I should do this. I should do that. Let me focus on this. Let me focus on that. And then you'd be like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm tired. I'm exhausted because my brain is doing too much thinking. Yeah, because we're trying to process all the steps. We're trying to process everything that needs to be done. We're trying to think about, you know, all the, 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 um, you know, all the directions that we need to be going in to make stuff happen. But if you just cut off everything else and say, what do I need to focus on today? Just the, what's the one thing today? Just the one thing. I don't care about everything else on that list. Just, just one thing. That's your micro goal. That's your micro goal. And get that one thing done. I've applied this to my life. I've applied this to my life over the last couple of months. And when I tell y'all I'm a crank it out monster now, like I know how to make it happen real. I, it's like my execution game went into beast mode because I'm taking things one step at a time instead of trying to do like everything all over the place, trying to get it all done, trying to make it all happen all at the same time. No, I'm, mm, I don't have the energy for that. When you over obsess about your goals that are huge, what happens is you get exhausted before you get started. If you start thinking about everything you have to do to make it happen, oh, you're burned out before you even, because your brain, here's the thing, your subconscious mind does not know if something is real or if it's just a thought. Your subconscious mind takes every thought that you have and processes it as if it's real life. So if you are thinking about the 50 things you got to do to get to get make progress, your subconscious is processing all 50 as if you actually are doing 50 things. So we have to learn how to simplify our 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 brains like make life easier on our brains for processing right because your brain processes and then it, it it sends instructions to the body and then the body takes action right but if you over consume or over um, obsess about way too much stuff in the brain you won't have the energy that you need to actually get the micro goals done so focus on the micro goals yes sit down Every quarter, I teach business, I teach entrepreneurs map out your 90-day plans for the quarter. But once you map out that plan, you focus on what do I need to get done for today? Like, what is my goal for this week? And what do I need to get done for today that is going to make that progress? So I share that with you guys because I'm changing how I do things. Like, I used to be the the think about it all, everything, and I will be exhausted. And now I'm like, nah, child. Yes, do I want to get in shape? Do I want this body right and tight? Yes. But if I can just get my behind up in the morning and put my workout clothes on and put my workout tennis shoes on, when I drop my kids off at school, my commitment to myself is you don't come home when you drop them kids off at school until you've been to the gym and you're sweating. And you're sweating. I don't mean come to the gym and sit in the lobby and drink coffee. You come to this gym and you sweat. Whatever you got to do to sweat, you go sweat. So that's my micro goal coaching for y'all. Start implementing micro goals. The reason why you're not making the progress that you need is because you're thinking about too much and you're exhausted before you ever get started. All you want to do, guys, yes, yeah, set your 90-day plan, but focus on what's the big goal for the week, right? What's the big key things you want to accomplish for the week? And then what is it that you need to do today? What's that one thing that's so simple? but it requires action that you do today. So my one thing for my physical activity, get to the gym. Guess where I'm at? She's at the gym. One day at a time, one step at a time, and one micro goal at a time, all right? So that is my coaching for y'all today. You ready for change? I don't have no mask though. What am I gonna do? You ready for change? Micro goals, micro goals, micro goals. All right, say it with me, y'all. Put it in the chat micro goals.
Cause baby girl gonna be fine. Give me, give me about, give me about ninety days, baby. Y'all gonna see. I'm gonna be wearing crop tops like these teenagers. I'm gonna be rocking every little short skirt I can wear. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day. Bye.